back in the summer of 2004, uh, we knew that we wanted to start working on the next generation Star Wars game. And with a galaxy as deep and as large as Star Wars, the opportunities are almost endless. We would go and we would just watch the movies and then get back together and say, okay, what types of characters did we like? What types of things really resonated for us? What are the things that were referenced that haven't been explored yet that we want to explore? So it was actually, we didn't have a shortage of ideas. It was whittling down to the right idea, ranging from a, a Wookiee uh, freedom fighter. We looked at games centered around some of the main characters, so a Darth Maul game, for example. Some, some we were more intrigued with than others. But nonetheless, we really wanted to get input from George. He laid out that there were things that you had to hit uh, in a Star Wars story, that you had to have adventure, that you had to have humor. And then we show him the next, the next presentation is this Wookiee game. And he looks at it and he goes, so I just spent 45 minutes talking to you about the importance of drama. And you present me a game concept where the main character doesn't talk. So he, he wasn't a big fan of the Wookiee game, but he understood what we were going for in terms of a superhero type character in the Star Wars universe. A lot of the early Star Wars concepts revolved around gadgets and tricked out spaceships. But it just got outside the realm of what really felt organic to Star Wars and the brand of Star Wars and the, the, the canon. The Jedi's already a superhero. I mean, he already has powers, but what if we not expanded those powers in the sense of adding new powers or gave him an entirely different slant, but what if we took the existing stable of powers and reimagined them? Well, what if we really jacked it up? What if we unleashed it and delivered a force experience that people hadn't seen before. Why it worked for us and why that was the direction we wanted to head is because it was the one that made you feel the coolest and the most powerful. And from a game perspective, moving to next gen, oh my goodness, you know, when you've got the power of the 360 and the PS3 at your fingertips, suddenly you can actually pay off on that unleashed feeling in a way that you couldn't do before. George is all about, you know, fundamental gameplay. And so immediately when he saw that, that was, that was what we were going to do. He allowed us to give Darth Vader a secret apprentice, which from a canon standpoint is just fantastic. It is such a rich character opportunity. Um, he's got a great love interest in, in Juno Eclipse, so it's not just blowing things up and, and unleashing the force on everyone, it's the consequences of those actions as seen through the eyes of Juno. So that gives an emotional weight uh, that's crucial to delivering a, a Star Wars experience. That, those are elements that the George always made sure we were hitting, and if we came up short on one of them, he didn't hesitate in pointing them out. We could bounce ideas off of him. He could tell us, nah, I wouldn't go there, but did you ever think about this? Or, hey, why don't you create this new character, which was fantastic, because all of a sudden that opened up the canon for us. For the look of it, I like where the, the tech is mixed in with the, the old. Right here. Yeah. That was the team I, I did an amazing out. job in doing a lot of art up front for what this game could be. Good concept art for me is the beginning. It unlocks, uh, it unleashes creativity, so to speak, where you see things, you know, a great artist gets in there and paints in little details that you hadn't thought about. Oh, what if we do this or what if we do that? And they just went crazy and did, you know, dozens of these really short play blasts, which are really simple animations. And then from there, we were able to select a handful to take the kind of final pre quality, and that's when we created that pre <laughs> When we all kind of took a look at it, it was one of those moments where, yeah, that's it. That's the game we want to make. That, that would rock. That video was incredibly important because it got all of us excited about, yeah, this is something that's going to be a great game. We were able to show it to George, and he was, yep, that's it. Go make that. But as Hayden likes to point out, the scary part was once he said yes, oh my God, we had to go deliver on that. And that's what we've been doing the last couple of years. The basic premise, Hayden speaks to this all the time and he makes us all say it in every meeting. You know, what's the premise of the game? Kicking someone's ass with the force. What is the core gameplay? Kicking someone's ass with the force. Once we had that core foundation, we also could go off and begin to write a wonderful Star Wars story. It is a rich, deep Star Wars story that fits right in the continuity between episode three and episode four. The galaxy is on the brink of darkness. The evil galactic empire has overthrown the old republic and now holds countless worlds in the grip of fear. Because of George's schedule, we had to actually put the story and the outline in a memo form to George. 
It was a day when, you know, we heard that the fax was coming and everybody rushed around the fax machine. And we just stood there looking at the fax machine, waiting for it to come out. And the pages start coming through and then the machine jammed and we're ah, you know, running to get new paper and fix it. And, and, and you know, so we actually have this great crumpled fax that, that came through that we, you know, got in, in, and put together. And you could immediately see that he had checked off basically yes, 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 all the way through, added a couple of great comments. Bail Organa did this and Leia was doing this and it's like, oh my God, you know, this is the absolute source material for this great saga. Uh, for me, it was awesome to be able to take that fax in hand and go back to the team who had worked so hard on this, you know, for over a year and be able to say, this is it guys, this is our story, this is our character. This is the use of the force that we're, we're championing. Let's go, let's, you know, let's hit the ground and, and make this game.